Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to the Big Sister Challenge. I think this is part 33. I have decided that I am gonna be ending this series on part 35. We've pretty much completed the challenge at this point. We've raised our little sister up to be this incredible teenager who's smart and funny and has like a couple of good friends which is all she really needs and she's a lovely girl so i feel as if riley raised her right we had some few bumps in the ro road you know riley stealing and kind of going out partying at some points but at the end of the day she was always there when farah needed her so i am gonna be ending this at 35 but i want to round it up in these next few parts so basically what we are doing today is riley has gone to work like any usual day however yesterday she kind of had a i'm just having farah like tidy up the house for her keeping her big sister happy the baby's still asleep so we'll take care of her when she actually wakes up but like i said we're just gonna clean up the house and get the apartment sorted so riley doesn't have to worry about that when she gets home and like i was saying riley actually had a i guess you could call it a stealing spree last night so she went around to the goth house and stole a lot and then she also went to the art gallery in willow creek and they had a they had a statue like a pff, armor guy and then they had loads of like breasts and shields and things like that that were worth quite a bit of money i technically cheated but i feel like it's not really a cheat so i'll show you guys what i did in case you want to do it so you know when you steal you get a buff that's kind of like a kind of like a period of downtime where your sim can't steal anything however you can remove these emotions by just typing in sims so click on the sim that you want obviously it's uh farah right now but sims dot you guys can't see this because of my webcam but it's sims dot remove underscore all underscore buffs and then watch her emotion okay Maybe I need testing cheats on again. <laughs> Make sure testing cheats is on. Testing cheats on. Okay, there we go. And then sims dot remove all buffs. Why isn't it working? Maybe it's because she's just happy. I don't know. But it was working last night. I don't know what I'm doing wrong right now. But it does work because I did it like a hundred times over. So basically, I just got rid of the shutdown period which i mean it's technically not cheating to me because i feel like if your sim is gonna go on a stealing spree it's gonna go on a stealing spree it's not gonna listen to a mood that's it's like hmm i've just been caught or she actually wasn't caught not once so that's why i kept on doing it because i was like if she's not caught then she's not gonna feel excited and then be like hmm i should really take a break from this stealing it's gonna encourage your sim to steal more so in my book that's technically not cheating i mean it's there in the game so as you can see we stole two pianos the goth house looks so bare right now it's usually like this amazing mansion with loads of decorative items and loads of golds and reds and now it's just like not <laughs> they we stole that piano um what else did we steal from the god's house i think we stole one of these busts from there we stole this picture which is worth like eight thousand simoleons which i didn't think it would be worth that much um this picture which is like four thousand simoleons and then this tiny globe so we stole a few items from there and then we got a lot of like shields and stuff from the art gallery so what we are gonna do is sell both of these pianos we sh probably should have kept one but i mean she can always steal this is the good thing about having a klepto sim is that you technically don't need to furnish your own house you can just go around to other people's swipe objects without getting caught and then just put them up in your own house <laughs> so we're gonna sell everything that we got because obviously i do want to move out i'm thinking of doing that in the next part i know it's like towards the end so you guys aren't really gonna see the new place um but i do want them living i feel like that's definitely a completion towards the um 
the let's play is if we have them living in like a really nice home. So let's get rid of that. So we've got 39,000 simoleons to our name. I am going to quickly check what's on offer. So let's uh, do, do, do... I'm not used to seeing orange. I like never change the skins of my phones. So it's always constantly blue, but I always forget that this is an option that you can customize your phone. So hers is orange. Um, let's move household. Let's see where we can actually move to. I did say in the last part, we were going to move into like the neighborhood that Kira lives in. I think there is an apartment in his actual block, which is two stories, but I think it's only two bedrooms, if I remember correctly. Like I kind of want the girls to share a bedroom, um, because I feel like Farah really wouldn't mind. Like she's so laid back that she wouldn't care. So he lives in here. And then this is the second apartment. Okay, so we can move in. I think, I think we can. So this is the downstairs bit. Let's just have a look around. So you enter through here, then you have like the downstairs bit and the kitchen, which is much bigger than our apartment right now. Like this is the size of our apartment currently and we've already got two bedrooms in there. And then upstairs, there's one bedroom, two bedroom, but this is like two singles. Oh wait, that's their apartment. Okay, so this would be the apartment we were moving into. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. So let's go down again. So it would be this one, would it? Wait, I'm so confused. No, it would be this, but upstairs they switch around. That is so confusing. Okay, so it is that one, but then the stairs lead up here. So we have this bedroom, which is kind of like a small, smaller box room, but it does have an ensuite. And then this kind of like bigger weird shaped one, which also has an ensuite. I mean, I guess we could move into that, but it is still quite small. Like the space isn't massive. So that's that one. Um, then we have this one, which is just, are these both just like one floor? Yeah, they're defo not big enough. Okay, well, not that one. Let me exit out of it. So, there's really not that many in his area. We can't afford the penthouse, unfortunately. Um, oh, wow. The how much is this penthouse? It doesn't even say. It just says you cannot afford this lot. <laughs> That's so awkward. Who lives here? No one. But, again, the furnishings are way out of our budget. See, I feel like all apartments only have like two bedrooms. I don't know what it is. This one has four bedrooms, but that's like 100,000. So we're gonna have to steal a lot more than that. We aren't gonna be moving in this part. I'm gonna move them before I record the next part, but you guys should let me know where we should move to. I'm thinking this one, quite honestly, like the one next to Akira. However, I do have an update on the Riley relationship situation. What what else others are there? So this one is two bedrooms, but that's already taken. Oh, this one's three bedrooms. Oh, okay. This one looks quite good. It is all one level, but it's a pretty big apartment. Not in Akira's um, neighborhood, but we can always see him. Like he's still gonna live in the city. We can actually move there. Ooh, this might be a shout because there's one bedroom here, then there's a small bedroom here and a small bedroom here. So like, Riley could have this bigger bedroom and then the girls, oh, I like the layout of that as well. I'm thinking this one, but you guys should let me know where should we should move. So the choice is between Hakim House, which is this one, um, which is next to the Jangs, which is really cool because we used to know Billy. So that would be quite nice to live next to Billy. I quite like that one. Fountain View penthouse. We can't see into that. Um, but I mean, a penthouse is always an option. Or the one near Akira. So you guys should let me know. I feel like that one's much better fit. So I might go with that one. But let me know in the comments and I will move them in before the next part. So let's cancel out that. Now that we've had that discussion of where they are going to move to, I'm going to give you guys an update on what I personally feel about the Akira, Isaac, Riley love triangle that we got going on. Oh, baby's hungry. 
I guess we should probably feed her. Is she? Oh, Savannah is very hungry. Be sure to feed her before she gets taken away. Don't take away my child. Riley would actually kill me. Like, she would put Savannah on a platter and serve her up to the dogs. <laughs> Even though dogs aren't the thing in The Sims 4, that's what she would do. Right, let's give this Baba a ham and cheese sandwich because, oh, she's, it's fine. She's whipped something out of her inventory. She's got that grilled chicken. <laughs> Where did this come from? She's just been sleeping with it under her pillow. Like, I like grilled chicken. I'm just gonna sleep with it here. That is like the toddler version of Danielle. I'm gonna have to show Danielle this bit of this video and be like, oh my god, babe, I found the toddler who is like the spitting image of you, which just sleeps with chicken under her pillow. Why is she sad? Left behind from a parent not being around. Oh, can we have her as like an adopted caregiver? Adopt as a care dependent. There we go. So now she hopefully won't be as sad. Um, right, let's check her needs quickly. So, oh, she stole, she's so her mother. Look, she stole the duck from the play area. <laughs> That's so funny. She stole the duck. Oh my goodness. So her hunger is fine. Um, so we're gonna teach her some things. What should we do? We'll, I wanna play some like games with her. Friendly, we are gonna, oh, we'll do some flashcards with her. Let's teach her some animals. Let's get that communication skill up, little one. Farah is now a caregiver of Savannah, which means she will check on the toddler's needs on a regular basis. So that's good. And she's still cleaning up for me, which is awesome. Farah is such a cool sim. She just does things without me even telling her. She's been like that since she was a child, though. She's been like such an easy sim. And now that she's a teenager, she's just got way more responsibility. And it's actually really cool to see that she's still doing it. So about the Akira thing. So, as you guys know, I've been toing and froing between the two of them for a while, but I have decided that Riley doesn't need any of them. Like, yes, she can still have them as friends. And also Isaac rang us last night when we were stealing things, but we didn't tell him that. Um, he rang us and was like, hey, it's singles night. Why don't we go to a bar and try to find someone new? So quite clearly, that is the game telling me that Isaac does not want a relationship with Riley. They're just really good friends. And that's okay. Like, they had a teen romance. He was there when she really, really needed someone to talk to and just socialize with and have a normal teenage like relationship with someone and he was that person but that doesn't mean that she has to grow up and love him oh jewel i hear you're not too good at haggling why don't you let me take you to the flea market and show you how to get a pro how a pro gets a great price mum you're kind of dead i don't think that's gonna work I'm gonna cancel out of that because she's a ghost and I don't think she'd be able to travel to the flea market. I mean, I probably should have tested it to see whether she could, but I doubt she could have. But yeah, Riley doesn't owe it to Isaac to fall in love with him just because he was there for her. She doesn't owe it to him to get into a relationship. Sh they can just be friends. Boys and girls can just be friends. Trust me, it's possible. So... That's what I've decided for those two. Akira is not going to be so black and white. Obviously, he is the father of our child. But Riley has coped this long enough being basically a single parent to Farah. So what's to say she's not going to be an amazing single mum to the baby? I, the baby. I forgot her name then. Uh, to Farah and Savannah. Like, she's going to be incredible. She doesn't need anyone to tell her what to do or how to raise her child she's been through it all and look at what she produced yes she's not her daughter but her little sister turned out great so i am i am in no fear that savannah is gonna be exactly the same so akira will obviously still be in our lives so will isaac just not as a romantic relationship akira's still gonna visit we're still gonna have him have a key to our apartment to our new apartment he's gonna be able to visit whenever he wants they might stay a little bit flirty, but I kind of want them to be more friends than anything else. Because I feel like... 
Riley's really not too fussed. She doesn't mind not being in a romantic thing. She's like in love with her job. She's helping people like she always wanted to do. She's settling down. She's like not going out so much. Yes, she still has friendships and a social life and she'll still go to the bars with like just Minder and stuff. But she is a-okay, and I am so proud of her for being a-okay. She's doing great. Why are you going to chat to Aaron? We don't like him. He also just broke your garbage chute, so can you not? We're gonna leave a passive-aggressive note. Oh, I wanna leave a passive-aggressive note. <laughs> Let's complain to our landlord. Let's get rid of this uh, thing. The baby's just here. Oh, she's imagining things. <gasps> That is literally Mike Wazowski, but in Sims form. Sure, since you're a tenant in good standing, I'll take a look. Thank you very much. I've actually never seen a negative um, thing of that. Oh, she's getting quite hungry again. And it is like lunchtime now. They're both getting hungry, actually. So let's give food to Savannah. We are going to give her the ham and cheese sandwich, which I were going to I was gonna give her before, before she pulled out like this chicken that she had swelting under her pillow, which is so disgusting when you think about it, but that's all right. Okay, go get, grab her and we'll stick her in there. And then, okay, the woman has come round. Her jaw is around. Hopefully she's gonna fix this. Aaron, can you just stop, just stop distracting her? Thank you. That was the one time that Aaron actually listened to me. So we gave her some food and Savannah, uh, Riley, I'm getting names confused. Farah, now you need to. We're going to cook a gourmet meal actually because she definitely still needs to work on that. So let's go for some pasta and cook that. We actually have so much food in our fridge right now and it's all going to go off, which is like such a waste. But also it is helping her gourmet cooking skill because like I said, I do want her in the last part to bring at least one of her parents back. It is gonna be the mum, hopefully, because because she had that massive fallout with her dad. It's gonna take a while. Like I definitely need to get all the plants that I need, which is gonna take forever. And I'm also not too sure how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to like put a planter in the new um, apartment, which is gonna be a bit weird because a planter inside, but none of these apartments, there's like one that has a balcony, but it's tiny, so we aren't gonna move there. So yeah, I am gonna have to have a planter randomly in probably her room. She'll probably be that weirdo who just has like loads of plants in her room. I can't talk. I currently have so many cacti and succulents and air plants in my room. I am slowly becoming that person, which I didn't ever think I would be, but then George, if you are watching this, I don't know if you watch this Let's Play George, but if you are watching, then you were the one who got me into it, Reva. So I blame you fully for my new succulent edition. Why do you look so angry? <laughs> I love how she's just chilling in her onesie. Oh, Riley got promoted. Select a branch for Riley Metz. We can go charity organizer. Use your political prowess for the greater good. Raise money and fund a solution for the cause you support. Or we could go politician. We are, of course, going to go for charity organizer. That's what I've always wanted her to be. Oh, look, she's got her own new suit and everything. She really needs to shower. She is disgusting. Um, let me just go on political career. What cause did we choose? No sim left behind. Um, foundation for less mischief she's definitely not gonna do that so no sim left behind i feel like is still her cause she's not gonna change that at all but we really need to take a shower so uh why don't you take a bubble bath you know what farah's got this she's looked after the baby she's looked after the house so you just take some me time also, you can let her out of there and you also need to do your homework. Oh, she wanted to go to the flea market. I kind of didn't want her spending money. Who's this? Congrats on the break promotion, Riley. Do you want to celebrate tonight at the Stargazer Lounge? So this is Victor Feng, I think. We might be friends with him because he's in a political career. And you know what? We're going to say yes. I mean, Farah's still got everything still under control here. So Riley's going to go, although she is feeling gross but we're gonna say okay i don't know about her hygiene though i kind of wanted her to get a shower before we decided to do anything i was gonna maybe go on a not a date but like a hangout with akira but we'll uh 
we'll go hang out with Victor and see how it goes. I'm excited for these to move into their own house. Okay, here we go. So we have come out with him. Um, <laughs> although we stink. This is not good. We're going to brush our teeth and see if that gets us up any. And then we're also going to wash our hands. <laughs> Obviously, because she is mischievous, she can now like... Um, clog drains and stuff but we aren't gonna do that so she's out with victor which is a very odd mix but like i said he is in the career that she's in crazy frog he's singing crazy frog he's like an acquaintance but we're celebrating our promotion so that's all right also her hygiene is still gross let's go watch him do some karaoke actually we'll grab a drink first what are your favorite drink and then <laughs> it's really bad i don't want to listen to that the view from up here is absolutely insane look there's a helicopter how cool would it be if we actually got helicopters and then there's like an island is this like the bluffs island that's what it makes me think of um like i feel like all the worlds in the sims 4 are connected i definitely feel like there's a connection between them all because even in, like, Newcrest, you can see the city, which is pretty cool. <gasps> Look at all these sims walking through the tunnel. Look at them all. <laughs> okay, so did you get that drink? And should we sing a duet? Let's go for a pop duet with Victor. Let's try and do it. We're still feeling gross. Oh, Baker's going to come on. Get away. Oh, no, he's the entertainer, so that's fine. I want to sing a karaoke duet. There we go. Let's see how awful this is. <laughs> it's going to be really, really bad. I can already tell. I feel like she's not high in the singing skill whatsoever, so it's going to be awful. Yep, I was correct. This is absolutely awful. <laughs> Although I'm quite glad Bako isn't singing as well, because then it would be like a mix of good and bad. Gita is around. Um, right, let's just skip through this. I don't really want to stay out too long with him. I mean, they are just acquaintances and he's kind of our boss. Hey, we haven't gathered in quite a while. Perhaps we should all meet. I was thinking of meeting at the Narwhal Arms. You should come out tonight. We will be the life of the party at the club. I forgot that we were in this club. We're going to say no, thank you. I totally forgot that we were in Party House. That was when she was kind of going through like her crazy party scene time as a teenager. Um, so we should probably jump out of that club at some point. And I'm going to end this social event. It's fine. We want to go back home. I mean, it was nice to have a drink or two with our new boss, but it's... I would prefer them to have like a girls night, a movie night and just cuddle on the sofa and just watch some TV because I feel like that's what Sunday nights were made for. I mean, even I on a Sunday night still love to get all cozy and watch like those singing competitions, like The Voice and stuff like that. I still love getting all cozy on a Sunday night, even though a lot of the time I'm either working quite late on a Monday or... I'm not in work at all and I just have to make videos, then I still like getting all cozy on a Sunday. I don't know what it is. I don't dread Mondays because I'm not in like a proper nine to five job where I'm like, oh, back to work after the weekend. But it's funny. Um, oh, the console is broken. That's all right. Let's watch a movie with the girls. We're gonna obviously, I feel like, oh, we could, I was gonna watch Lost Dogs, but I'm fairly sure we've already watched that. Although I think we should get a bath first, like I said. So you go take that bubble bath, Riley. You deserve it. What are the girls up to? You need to do your homework quickly. So do your homework whilst Riley's getting a bath. You, Mrs., where are you going? Stay out here. I think she was going to go welcome her mum. Why don't you go potty? The festival will end in one hour. Well, we haven't even been there, so that's fine. She's going to use the potty. Everyone's getting themselves sorted for movie night. She's already in her PJs and she just reached level three of the potty skill. Let's check out her skills. So she's level three in potty, level three in movement. Um, oh, is potty only a level three? 
Level four in imagination, three in communication, and two in thinking. So we definitely got to get her thinking skill up. I'm fairly sure Farrah will be able to help with that. She's like the mastermind of the family. This chick is so clever, even to this day. Our landlord didn't even fix that. We rang her and she didn't even fix it. Are you serious? How are you feeling, baby? She's all right. Oh, she's watching Riley in the bath. That's so cute. She's like, Mom, why did you get bath without me? <laughs> oh, imagine if, like, the parents could bathe with the toddlers. That would be so cute. Okay, there we go. And you know what? We're gonna get cozy. We're gonna ch change outfit into... Do, 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 into some PJs. Let's go for a onesie. We'll match. We'll all get in our onesies. You're already in your PJs. These two have had such a PJ day. Um, and then you can come watch movie with... We're going to watch Cortex Catastrophe. Oh, can you not watch it with the toddler? That's all right. We'll watch it with Farah, And then hopefully she'll go and sit next to them. Farah, you can stop doing your homework for a bit. Go watch the film. Right, where are you sitting? Because I want the baby to sit here. There we go. Come on, Baba. Come on. Oh, she's gone to put it away. Oh my goodness. Riley is like so popular tonight. Congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserve it. Thanks, Isaac. I'm quite glad um, he didn't say like, meet up with me. Because I wasn't going to do it. But there we go. They're going to watch the film. I feel like this isn't a kid's film. I thought it was. Oh wait, it is. It's like Spy Kids. <laughs> it is a kid's film. Is she what? Oh, is she watching it? There we go. You can watch it. Playful. But, but, but. From being silly. You know what? Chicken butt. Never gets old. <laughs> Made her silly. <laughs> That's, she's got chicken on the brain. I'm telling you. Savannah's like obsessed with chicken. She sleeps with grilled chicken under a pillow. I told you. Okay, so they're all watching the film. Oh, it's over. Was it a good film? Did anyone like it? Oh, now she's saying nonsense. <laughs> the toddlers are so cute. They're actually like real life toddlers. They're just like, I'm just gonna babble. Apparently, Farah, oh, she was clapping, but she's actually angry because it was a cinema sin. Right, you can go back and go back to your homework. I think, yeah, it's still on your desk. So you can go back and finish that off. Savannah's feeling a little bit tired. So we're going to have Riley go and read to her. So we're going to read Toddler to sleep because she really needs it. She's, she's a sleepy little bear. Oh, it's the fridge that's smelling. I was like, what's smelling over here? We need to turn this off. This has been on all day. <laughs> I mean, she was just doing like m monotonous routine tidying. So I can imagine why she wanted to listen to music. Oh, look, she's got her Boo outfit on. <laughs> Legit looks like Boo with her pigtails and that cooler shirt. So we're just going to read her to sleep. Get her imagination up a little bit before she goes to sleep. There we go. And then you need to have something to eat. You're like super hungry. Just have whatever. Like I said, we've got so much food in the fridge right now. Hence why it's all going off. And I think I'm going to end this part here, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, let me know which apartment you think we should move into. I'm definitely thinking the one near Billy. Because that seems like the perfect size for our family. But are these having an seriously oh, they're gonna wake everyone up this is why i'm moving what a way to say we are moving out other than this but yes thank you guys so much for watching definitely let me know where you think we should move into and i will speak to you all in the next part bye guys